Look at all these Green Rangers. Are My old sensei. Up? My old sensei. I went to his Red Dragon Karate Gym. We on? We're here. It's another Sunday. I haven't put a camera in your face in a long time. It's been a while. And Did this people will... forget I live? No. I'm, I'm alive. I'm live? here. Yeah. I'm a no. person. No, I would have put an obituary out for you for sure. Why you gotta, why you gotta be a bitch though? No, I mean if you passed away. Obituary. Oh, no, I'm kidding. I know what oh, I was like, oh my God. This is the worst <laughs> intro of all time. All right, here we are. It's Sunday. We're doing a toy hunt. Not a shoe hunt, although that is available on my YouTube channel. Go check that out. Scorpio Sky, Ethan Page, the men of the year, have come back together for the YouTube channel and for the Asylum Store. What's the, what's, what is it? The Asylum Wrestle Wrestling Bash. Store. Wrestle Bash. Wrestle, Wrestle, Wrestle Bash. Bash. Here's some clips of that. Favorite now. Look at this. Wait, Scott, do you remember when I gave you those hats on the vlog before? Yeah, that was you? Yeah. Oh man, thank you. Okay, that's sick. Yo, that is sick. Look at that. Right there, yep. This is the ultimate gift. It's got the snap. It's your colors. That's a medium for sure. <laughs> medium for sure. Dude, thank you. Dude, thank You're you. the man. It's really cool. It's perfect. Thank you. It's I perfect. It's actually, I wish they could feel this through the camera. Oh, it's soft. But it's really soft. Yeah. I'm gonna enjoy wearing this. It's gonna feel good on your nipples, dude. It's gonna feel great on my hard nipples. <laughs> What's the website? <laughs> You're fired. The play by Julian.com. Hey, grab this shirt at playbyjulian.com. And I'm for sure leaving the first part in. Micro brawler, never giving me one. I'll give you one. Amazing. You've drawn me before. Yes, I have. We've met before. What? Yes. Wait, so, no, someone no. brought your art to me to get signed yes, for you. you yes, me. okay, correct. And then something came on, on a voice call. It was me. Oh, on the call. that's right. All right. Dude, look at that. What? How sick is this? What? Stickers. No, stickers too? Look at you pulling really? that jacket off. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is going on my laptop. Hell yeah. Thank you. All right, and these are from our friend Kate. There's more. There's what? so much more. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Yo, we are art, Sky. We are art. Stickers. All right. And art. There is mine. Oh, yes, <laughs> saw this. Oh, I love I is saw, stored in the titties. Wow, you're so jacked. Thanks, man. Holy cow, you're jacked. Yeah. <laughs> They're very nice to me. You're so good. Yes, my fans are very nice to me. Look at they even put Calvin Klein. Oh, you're your, your abs, <laughs> your, your underwear is out. Look at this. You guys are. Really, this is great. This is great. This is crazy. Thank you. All right, we're back. And uh, we're going on a big toy hunt here. Oh, cheers. He drinks coffee now. I do, because of you. And you're going to a toy store because of me. Yeah. Do you collect toys? Only sexual ones. So I'm kidding. <laughs> I was trying to think like, oh yeah, mint on card? You, so, you keep them in the box? 
Anyway, so here we go. We're going on a toy hunt. Uh, do you collect other toys? I used to be a huge pro wrestling toys collector. Huge. Till when? I know the answer. That's I'm I'm, <laughs> I, I'm getting it out of you. I stopped when I was about. Give me the honest answer. 19. Okay. Then I started again, actually, while I was in the business, probably in my 20s. And then, like, but I never really played with them or anything. I would just, like, go on eBay and I'd find, like, oh, here's a $60 Road Warrior set. And I'd buy it and then I'd get it in home and I'd be like, all right, now what? <laughs> yeah, we do that every week, man. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, most people keep them in the packages and stuff. I would open them. Like, I yeah. want to play with them. Yeah. But then I wouldn't play with them. Well, some people display them. Yeah. They want to see I their... I still have a bunch of them. The, the accessories, the tattoos. A bunch of them. Yeah. I, Wait, you I, still I, have them? I still have them. They're tucked away in a closet somewhere. I'm not going to get rid of them. For Why do they have them? No, no, no. Why, yeah, why haven't you got rid of them? I'm not going to get rid of them. What are you going <laughs> to do with them? I, I don't know. Maybe my son one day or if I have a child... Maybe I, don't I know. like this. So Scorpio Sky collects wrestling toys. Everybody, mm -hmm. when you see him at signings and stuff, bring them on out. Especially that Road Warrior two pack. Uh, if we're in here, are you actually gonna look for stuff? Oh uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I see yeah, what the turtles over here? Yeah, I why not? The turtles when I was a kid. Okay, so what? What's your nostalgia growing up? So I'll I'll tell you one little cool story. Okay. When I was like, it was my birthday. I want to say I was maybe six or seven years old. Yeah. And all I wanted was these Ninja Turtle figures. Because yeah. I was obsessed with Ninja Turtles. Raphael was my favorite. And it was my birthday. I'm at school all day. I'm super excited to go home and see what uh, my mom got me. Yeah. My mom picks me up from school. We're driving home. And I'm like, so so what did I get for my birthday? And she was just like, as cold as can be, she was like, do you think you've done anything to deserve any gifts for your birthday? And I shrunk because I knew I was bad. Damn, I didn't get anything because I've been bad. We go home, I'm sitting on the floor, I'm playing with my wrestling toys. I don't know how much time, 30 minutes, an hour goes by and then my mom's like, hey, can you go grab my purse off the kitchen table? And I was like, yeah, sure, mom. And I get up and I walk into the kitchen table and when I get in the kitchen, the kitchen table's covered in Ninja Turtle figures. And I'm like, you got the whole set? Oh, yeah. yeah, dude, oh, dude that's like, the best. One of the coolest things ever. Those are legit my favorite stories when I get wrestlers on here. Like Bowens has amazing stories like that yeah. growing up as a kid. I always have, like, the, I, that's why I do these toy hunts is for that. I'm chasing that, like, oh, oh, that's exactly how I felt. I, I lost my Yeah. I was like, can I say you can say whatever you want. Okay. Sorry. We, we'll get that covered for you. <laughs> I haven't cursed on your vlog in a while. <laughs> so we're going to go for a toy hunt. We are at... Yeah, Pandora's Box. Pandora's Box. Box. Always Badass. So we're going to head in here and check it out. We're in uh, New Jersey, which is exciting. And beautiful, beautiful. I literally haven't seen Sky in so long. But this is going to be great to catch up, go toy hunting, check out a new shop, and hopefully fill my bag uh, with toys. Don't forget, every single Sunday is brought to you by Whatnot. Go download the app. Link is in the description. I stream live once a month on there. And this vlog, a little special message from Ridge Wallet. That's right, this video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet. Uh, I actually just refilled this wallet. This is brand new for me. We've got the money strap on the back. This is my third one by choice, mostly for style, not because they've gotten worn out or I need a new wallet. I just like switching it up, trying to match things uh, to my phone. I have a green phone case and I've even thought about using this olive colored uh, version right here. Ridge Wallet has an enormous selection of options when it comes to design and what you're comfortable with. Like I said, I like the strap. Other people like the money clip. One thing I absolutely don't like though is my old bulky George Costanza style wallet. This forces me in a good way to keep everything sleek, uh, organized, clean, and not just shoving receipts and every card that gets handed to me into a wallet. My Ridge is always looking exquisite. And most importantly, you could save 10% by clicking the link. Uh, here's all the information here. If you wanna type it in, go nuts, or click the link in the description if you're lazy like me. Very, very, very easy. Ridge is doing a Bronco giveaway. Yes, literally the car, the Bronco vehicle is <laughs> being given away. Every dollar you spend on their website, you're automatically entered in a giveaway and you have the potential of winning an entire car because you bought a wallet that you should probably buy just because you need to get rid of your disgusting giant wallet. That cracked leather that's not even the same color that your butt sweat has tinted to a darker shade of whatever you purchased. <laughs> Get yourself a Ridge. Use my code, save 10%, and maybe win a Bronco that you can pick me up in and drive me around. Thanks, Ridge Wallet. Back to the vlog. Let's go inside and go toy hunting.
Because I had all of these. Now I have none of them. I, I sold all of them. Me too. For nothing. For nothing. Yeah, for nothing. Yeah, for nothing. Yeah, he's doing, they got he's Rocky figures right now. Yeah. What? October, I think. Yeah, Rocky figures. Oh, yo. Right. You didn't so, know they made Rocky toys? Oh, no, I did, but I've never seen these before. This was my when I was a kid, too. Like, head flipping I, Power Rangers? I, yeah, the head flipping. I had yeah. a good amount of them, and I had the, the big, what was it called? The Zord. The Zord. The Megazord. The Megazord. I had that. Dragonzord. But this is sick. I might have to come home with one of these types of figures or a couple of them. I like those. So what do we do? Off to a great start. We just literally just shop around and I film you and ask you questions. All right, let's do it. Which way should we start? Over. This way? I'll always ask too, what's the craziest thing you guys have in the shop? That you're like, oh, you got to see this. Like the proto prototype, like Hogan head. What? what? I thought it was going to be this is like a John Cena prototype figure. I was like, what? They got a lot of prototypes. That's in the warehouse. Remember he would do like the side slam? Oh, I remember that. Like the thing. Well, prototypes and toys is like, you know, before they make the toy. Yeah. Prototype they make the prototype. That's right. That's right. Prototype Triple H. I think what? I, oh, wow. Like, I think I had that Hogan that's behind him when I was a kid. Yeah, that LJN. Yeah, I think I had that. They were great. They were dated him and a Roddy Piper. These um, WWF figures were really cool, too. The and then the ones? WCW ones. And I'll tell you another story. Remember the WCW ones that didn't move? Mm -hmm. And it'd be like Flying Brian, and he'd be like this. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like Arn Anderson would be like this, yeah, which yeah, was yeah. great yeah, for the right? spine buster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, there we go. That's him. Wow, it's just perfect for the spine buster. Just. That was the only move they could do. But that's it. Oh, you could do a headlock. Um, oh, yo. Okay, we'll look at those in a minute. So, they had the Ron Simmons one. Do you remember how Ron Simmons? Yes. First of all, he was like this. Arm, yeah, 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 yeah. So all yeah, yeah. you could do was shoulder tackles, diamond cutters, and like diamond cutters or snapmares. <laughs> yeah. And but I was like. Why is he in high water jeans and white sneakers? Oh, dude, we talked about this. He never wrestled in that. Ever. Ever. High water jeans and white sneakers. And it bothered yeah, me my entire ones. life. When I was a kid, I'm like, even as a kid, I'm just like, well, I always loved gear. Look, why is he in high water jeans? He had cool gear. Why the hell is he in high water jeans? This is I swear to you, maybe five years ago, my friend Yuma. Shout out to Yuma. Johnny Yuma, Johnny toy Yuma. collector. Toy I can't collector. wait to get him on the vlog. He um, he found a picture of when they went and did photos, yeah. and it was Doom in high water jeans yeah. and white sneakers. They went to do the why? The they probably told them like, "Oh, you guys need to go take pictures." And he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go do that, but I ain't putting on gear. F that." <laughs> 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 and then they put on high water jeans and white sneakers. What are they doing? And now he has an people? action figure. Now it's a lifetime, a lifetime action figure. The thing that makes me the most mad is that's something I would probably do. <laughs> yeah, oh, put gear that's a hundred percent Sky thing. <laughs> put gear on. I think I'm gonna gear up for this. I don't even want to gear up for my matches. Where, where, does, where does this come? From? When I was a kid, I used to do storylines with my action figures. Me too. And uh, one of my favorites was Typhoon was a baby face, right? And then he turned on his partner. Mm. And remember how he was tugboat before that? Yeah. He turned on his partner and went to be back to being a heel. And his name was Thugboat. Thugboat? Thugboat. Can someone please yeah. Photoshop what you think Thugboat would be? <laughs> and his finishing move was the frog splash. Oh, jeez. Which, which kills people. Yeah. <laughs> what a thug thing to do. Thug boat, bro. Thug boat. Thug boat. That was his name. Oh, my God. I was a great booker as a child. I was a great booker. Man, I had, like, all these. Bros, dude. Like, I had this. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Thug boat. Thug But you got to cock, cock that hat to the you side. You got to like, a, put a little gun holster on him. So another thing that I would do when I was a kid is when I wanted to make wrestlers have new gear, I would use colored electrical tape. Oh, electrical That's tape? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I would like so change their gear up. Yeah, yeah. And his, his thug boat gear was like this, but it was black and white. Nice. It was like black pants and then a black and white. Yeah, That's I cool. I would paint mine and then they were... And it's done forever. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's smart. Yeah, because like little, even when I was a kid, little, originally when I wanted them to bleed, I would use like a marker or a crayon, mm. but like I'll, it wouldn't always. That's come it. It's off. ruined. Right. So then I would use red tape if I wanted them to bleed and stuff. Dude, one time this is Matt Hardy was world champ of my figure fed big blow off match, right? Mm -hmm. Where he's gonna win the title, flaming table. Oh wow! Hairspray. In the house. Use real fire. Dude. And real fire. Wow, you're nuts. Hold on a second. 
definitely burnt the carpet. Oh, <laughs> how much yeah. trouble did you get? In? So much <laughs> trouble. <laughs> So, could you imagine? It's not like, oh, what did you do to do this? Yeah. Oh, I was playing with toys. You're a f idiot. <laughs> <laughs> tables, Matt, yeah. <laughs> it's a big show. Yeah. It's a big show. It's a pay-per-view. A brand new series has just hit the channel. Ethan Page unboxes vintage toys and recreates a retro style commercial with toys after ripping them open. You know what I'm going to do? At the end of this, I'm going to film a commercial for the toys and just redo a 90s style commercial. That's what I'm gonna do with these videos. Check out the first episode with Batman and Robin toys and a great debut commercial. Best way to never miss a new video is to subscribe and click the bell icon for alerts. Check out the new series. More coming soon. I've never, never seen this. Said. Oh, the LJNs? I've never seen the yeah, LJNs. Yeah, they did a great job. When did those come out? Uh, they've only had two come out so far, his yeah. and Darby's. Mm. Wow, that's cool. I actually own the prototype of Darby. Really? No way. Yeah. That's very cool. What's cool is like on the prototype, they like the the necklace is like beaded and it's attached to his like neck, but mm. on the, the finished product, it's a separate. Oh. Accessory. Comes off. That's cool. So he's like actually the only one that has an individual attached. accessory. That's it's a loose. Oh, so, oh, but yeah. yours is attached. Yeah. Oh, that's prototype. cool. That's yeah, cool. they did it. They did it different. That's very cool. Yeah, I love that they're bringing that style back. Those oh yeah. Were, those are such that's iconic cool. figures for sure. In, like the history of like wrestling. Even the know? packaging, yeah. like they actually got the rights to LJN. Yep. The yeah. sizing isn't that bad. They did it the right way. Yeah, for sure. I'll, I'll tell you with like the later on, like the ruthless aggression style and mm -hmm. post of that, like as opposed to the Hasbro. I really loved the Hasbro, but what bothered me was like. Roddy Piper would wrestle in his kilt and t-shirt mm -hmm. and like the Mountie would wear his full jacket yeah, yeah. and yeah, you're like yeah. why you, can, you can't take that stuff off right. like that bothered me as a kid yeah like you could have Freddie Blassie naked in the uh, yeah in, right yeah know, just I was always like yeah. a fan of the attention <laughs> to detail of things right and um yeah well you I think do it I think thing. toy manufacturers didn't figure out a way to to do it in a financial way that made sense right you yeah. know what I mean so yeah. back then it was just like this is how they're getting made. It's the easiest way to do it. Yeah. For now sure. they're like, we can do facial scans and, yep. and you know, oh, they God. can Next make level. millions. Yeah. Because even if you look at like the way the classic superstars evolved from the, uh, the Jack's line, like yeah. the Jack's classics, like mm -hmm. everything, it's rubber clothes. Mm -hmm. So there was like a step in the right direction. But, you know, now we have like full yeah, cloth goods, yeah. gears it's the best. and 18 sets of hands and yeah. 15 faces. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, it's nuts. So much they can do. Different yeah. facial expressions. Yeah. What? Now, now Hasbro is literally 3D scanning customers and putting them on action yeah. figures. Like you can be your own crazy. Power Ranger. Yeah, you yeah. can be your own Power Ranger, your own wow. Stormtrooper. Like oh, they got yeah. a whole list of figures. Yeah. I want a figure. What do you, what do you, you have one? I had this Jazz Wars. <laughs> oh, I had this exact ring when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. I had that Shawn Michaels. I had a different version of Bret Hart. I believe I had the Steiner Brothers. Oh, yeah, Razor Ramon. Yeah, no, I had a different Hacksaw Jim Duggan. I had that. Um, Macho King? I had that Macho King and that um, LOD as well. And I think I had Yokozuna. That's cool. And then I see this. That's a like a legit looking. Is that a replica? I no, see that's the original. That's the original. Oh, no. Oh. The yellow belt? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a replica. No, that, I wish it was a. That looks really legit. The warrior one, yeah. I kind of got the idea for my TNT title from Gold Dusts. In a oh, yeah. Title. Okay, yeah. Like, because for me, the make or break was going to be the strap. It was like yeah. the gold strap has to hit mm -hmm. and if it doesn't hit then the title's not gonna look right. good at all and so like i really wanted it to look similar to that oh the laker tnt title yeah oh, it's so good. that beautiful title yeah i still have it don't tell anybody <laughs> <laughs> edit this out you mean yeah, yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that's dope left forearm smash <laughs> <laughs> very Featuring specific left forearm smash lance storm shout out did you see that uh, Rocky Championship belt? I, I oh, that's pretty sick, right? Yeah. You guys have these Rocky figures somewhere? The Jacks in the warehouse. In the warehouse, I have the Apollo Creed in the package, but I definitely want to get a Rocky or like a Drago or something. Yeah, I didn't even see all these. Look, at... oh I've yeah, I've never seen this before. Yeah, I have one in that same line. Is this a WWF figure? Mm -mm. Flip it. No. Oh what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dynamite Kid and All Ego Ethan Page. That's random. Yeah. You're literally right next to all, uh, to Dynamite Kid, too. Yeah. That's crazy. And Hayabusa, Bull Nakano. That's crazy. I want to see yours. 
Yeah, it's a, they'll have them at the table today. Probably looks cool. An atom bomb. That's yeah, a U UK toy company. Ah, it looks yeah. cool. Well, this is his. Oh, yeah, this is sick. It's a good oh, you, oh, you, oh, you pulled yeah, it out. Them. That's awesome. With yeah. the big boy bomb. Oh, you got the the red gear. That's uh, that pre-sale sold out right away. Really? Yeah. Then they had to come out with a different color. This is cool. It's a UK toy company. Mm -hmm. yeah, do they, do they move that. or no? Yeah, they yeah, the arms yeah, and the, the, the hips. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can do a little. Oh yeah, ego's edge, no problem. It's like uh, what's the, the big boy bomb? Body style? So that's the same move. But I signed for this figure before I signed with AEW, mm. and they wanted to have my finish on TV, and I was like, you can't. Like you, we have to call it what I called it on the indies, which was a big boy bomb. The big boy bomb. Yeah. So it became Ego's Edge in AEW? Yeah, all my names, all my move names got changed. My finisher was the Spinning Dwayne. It was a spinning rock bottom. My oh. uh, bicycle kick was called the Tanned Sheamus. It was uh, <laughs> like, I, I didn't take them serious. I'm like, on the indies, it's just dumb wrestling names. I had a different name for the TKO on in the indies, but I can't remember what it was. Yeah, it wasn't the TKO. I started calling it the TKO when I got to AEW. But what was it before that? It, I don't know. I'll think of it. Yeah, please. Yeah. With, uh, Batman? yeah, with, um, the guy from Twilight. Yeah. I just Did you saw, like it? Uh, I loved it. Yeah. Did I loved not? it. Oh, no, okay. I loved it. I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. Was I not supposed to? No, no. I watched it on a <laughs> I thought it was. Free. Don't ever say that. So bad. Was, was bad. I not supposed to? I, that, dude, that stuff drives me nuts. <laughs> Gatekeeping movie watchers? Like, <laughs> shut up. I know. Sometimes I'm like, when it comes, especially like DC or Marvel, yeah. like certain people, you gotta be careful. Bro, I literally, <laughs> have you seen this movie? It's yeah. dog it's with Arnold as uh, Mr. Freeze. Oh, yes, Freeze. yes. I yes, love yes, it. Of course. Yes, it's a great movie. I mean, that's how I feel about Rocky Five. Great movie. Great movie. Great movie. Like some of the best character work great ever. Great movie. George Washington Duke, Judgment I'll Sue. Judgment I'll Sue. Come on, pug. Judgment I'll Sue. <laughs> Come on, punk. <laughs> Touch me and I'll sue. Like, oh my God, he was great. Is this Triple H? Yeah. 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 He's got his, his Triple H pose. Yeah, they cut his ponytail. Yeah. Burr. I'll add special effects for you. <laughs> Want to support the weekly toy hunt? Head over to PlayByJulian.com and grab the latest merchandise. Like the brand new Ethan the Toy Hunter merch. Available in many color options for clothing, stickers, drinkware, and more. Plus, the Toy Hunt Zor design is always a great option. Or the very popular original Ethan the Toy Hunter merchandise. Hell, we even have Karate Man t-shirts still available. Grab the merch and support the channel. Playbyjulian.com. Now, back to the vlog. Alright, that's a wrap. I just think Batman is the coolest superhero. Man. Oh, hell yeah. Doesn't I kill people. I, I, pretty much all the movies were good too. Even the old Adam West movie, man, where like the, the Joker is like, you think you're pretty clever, don't you, Wayne? And he's like, I'm clever enough to out with you, you stupid f <laughs> <laughs> He says stupid f Oh, he does He it. does. Stop. You think you're pretty clever, don't you, Mr. Wayne? Clever enough to out with you, you stupid f well, we'll see about that. He's like tied up in the old. You like stop it. Adam West Batman movie. He said, You stupid, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> He's like, You think you're pretty clever, don't you, Wade? He's like, Clever enough to with you, you stupid. <laughs> I like, need to find this. Some people think he says, Stupid thug. I think he says, Stupid. <laughs> I'll beep it out either way, just so people think <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> you think you're pretty clever, don't you, Mr. Wade? Clever enough to with you, you stupid. <laughs> Well, we'll see about that. I said that word so many times right now. <laughs> People aren't even know what I'm talking about. It's gonna be boop, 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 boop. It's gonna be like listening to a, a, a 90s rap song on the radio. Yeah, you don't even know what song you're listening to? Yeah, it just... Like, have you ever heard uh, Tupac's Hit Him Up on the radio? Sure have. It's, it's just nothing. <laughs> First off, click you claim. What? Can we, they, they just bleep stuff that's not even cuss words. And he'd be like, it's like the people editing it, they just weren't sure. They're just like, I'm just going to bleep every other line no matter Might what. Might be offensive. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, why even play it? All right, this place is very they overwhelming. Have here. They have records too? Yeah. Oh, we got graded comics. Got to take a, a peek. Guy. Take a peek at that. We got some Beatles. 
Oh yeah, you got a record machine. Got a record player. Yeah. I think I need to get some speakers for it. The ones that came with it, not good? It's just a, a bass that is a record player and then the music comes out of that. But like, I just think okay. that's probably the norm back then, but like, we're so used to like speakers oh, and yeah, bass of course, and of course. sound. So I'm just sitting there like, okay, this isn't enough. <laughs> this isn't enough. <laughs> Honestly, I think the sound is so much better. I love putting a record on. It does sound really cool. I got three records as a gift from my girlfriend's mom and dad. Shout out. Shout them out. Yeah. They gave us the Beatles, Jackson 5, the Scorpions. Love it for oh, Scorpions. Dude. And it's great. crazy because great. we were in Vegas and we were in an Uber and I just happened to mention that the Scorpions was like my favorite brand growing up. Wait, it was? Yeah, loved. It. Saw them live once. That's wild. And her mom That's remembered. So yeah, and her mom remembered. She was just like, oh yeah, you said that was your favorite band growing up. She got me a Scorpions record. That record's like, probably pretty hard to find too. too. Yeah, I yeah, love it for Sting. Super That's cool. awesome. I loved them growing up. And you loved Sting, so. And I loved Sting. <laughs> Till you had and to I whip his life. ass. Yeah, I had to whip his ass. Although he well, the last yeah. half. Well, yeah, as he does. Sick. I had the small version of that figure. What is that even? Would you guys ship? To me. To me. I love you guys. No way. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. Great. Hell yeah. So Ethan, when you played with your figures as a kid, yeah. did you sing their theme songs? I would try and like hook up either my computer or like a CD because I had the, um, the WWF. The music. Yeah. Yeah. Volume four or I something. I eventually got to those. Like, so I started out singing them. Yeah. And then uh, I would like record it off of TV. So which would be yep, like the yep, same yep, commentary, yep, yep, yep. obviously. And then eventually when, the, you know, those themes started coming out, I would try to collect those. Okay. Here's my, here's my figure fed question for you. Mm -hmm. Royal Rumble. Do you plan it out or. Oh, this is easy. Do you just put all the figures behind your back? Yes! Ladder. All right. Put all the figures behind my back. And, but that was hard with the music. Number 30! Number 30, because you have to too And you have to grab, and you have to be like, okay. <laughs> you look for all your tapes. Of, yeah. Because like, I see you skip, 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 skip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't know? <laughs> Yo ass better call somebody. And he comes out. <laughs> Is that Billy? Nope. Oh, that's Chuck. Chuck. All I saw was this, and I was like, oh, is that Billy? Well, that's Billy. That is Billy. Yeah. What is this Billy? Oh, those were awesome. They were like army figures, but they were the only real figures that you could powerbomb and pile drive people with at the time. Oh, wow. Because he'll at least sit out. If I was going to war, I would want Billy. Like, what, imagine another army just seeing big ass Billy Gunn walking towards like, like, oh my God, they have dinosaurs. Yeah, they have dinosaurs. <laughs> 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 is this Lex Luger? Yeah. I think those vibrate too. What? Those are the they vibrate, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't crazy. Yeah. yeah. Those with the little magnets that locked in. Those magnet ones were the yeah. dumbest. Because yeah. no one actually suplexed someone like that either. No, I no. have but this exact have MVP figure. Oh, that's right. The trash cans. Yeah. New WCW NWO Grip and Flip Wrestlers. Watch as the Grip and Flip in power lets Chris Jericho lock up with Dean Malenko. New WCW Grip and Flip Wrestlers come two to a pack. you flip for it. I have this exact MVP figure. I love MVP. One of my favorite characters. I'm coming! <laughs> okay. Uh, did you find your favorite, Raphael, yet? Is he here? I don't know. Ooh. Is that, oh, that's a cool double J. Oh, yeah, those just came out. Don't Major Wrestling Figure off. Podcast put those Look, out. Major Bendy. Damn, that's sick. Don't piss me off.
You know, actually, that's a t-shirt. Don't piss me off. <laughs> that's cool. Back then. Remember he would call people slap nuts? Yep. Listen up, slap nuts. <laughs> like, yo. That era of wrestling was wild. Like, the Godfather comes out, and he's just like, You can face me, or you're going to have one of my hoes. <laughs> Like, how did my mom let me watch that? <laughs> or maybe you could have two of my hoes. And Dean Malenko was the first person to ever take the hoes. He was? I'm pretty sure he was. Godfather said that he may be the man of a thousand holds, but he's the man of a thousand hoes. Malenko left with two of them. This led to Dean teaming up with the Godfather for a few weeks whilst his obsession with the ladies grew. Yeah, I and then I remember I was talking to him backstage once, and I was like, they should have ran with that. They could have called you the man of a thousand hoes. Thugboat, Thug man of a thousand hoes. Tony, man. give me the pen. The oh, man dude. Of a thousand hoes. Is that Raphael? Yeah. That's cool. I Did you ever see those ones when they were little, when the first movie came out, they had these Ninja Turtle figures that came out, and they were actually like rubber? Oh, yeah. Those are so badass. Yeah. I think I had this Wolverine. This exact one, yeah. I did. That was a cool one. Yeah, the uncanny X-Men, yeah. I loved X-Men figures for a while, too. I had that Cyclops. My buddy and I, uh, his name was Tony, one of my best friends as a kid. We were obsessed with X-Men. Oh, and Terminator. I had some Terminator figures, too. I remember Any, I, I anything used... on this card I love. Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, uh, those are just super cool. Spider-Man figures. Did you have your Spider-Man and Wolverine and those guys wrestle at any point? No, too? I couldn't do it. And when I, I was mix... really young, I did. Yeah. As I got older, I couldn't, you know, more realism. You right. Could, but, yeah, Spider-Man, he was like Rey Mysterio before Rey Mysterio in my figures. He was doing, like, all so kinds of I would play shit. with them, <laughs> as, but I would never put them in my fed. Mm. Like, because they had way more articulation. Like, mm. my Power Rangers, they could actually suplex people, power on people. Yeah. Like, their arms bent. Their yeah. Arms. So I would more. use them all the time, but yeah. not in my fed. No. Yeah, when I was really young, man, I was wild with it. Wolverine just using his claws and matches. Oh, damn. He had a bloody blood, blood, blood battle with Sting once. Right, Sting I think one, I would come on. He won. He Sting. All right, fair enough. <laughs> he Sting. Little <laughs> Penny. Do you remember those commercials? So what was it like? Uh... So like Penny Hardaway, obviously he was like a, he was with he played for the Orlando uh -huh. um, um, Magic, and so when he came out with his shoes. All the commercials featured like a doll named Lil Penny, oh. and it was like his alter ego. It's a free country. If I want to give interviews, I'll give interviews. You know what your problem is? You're too modest. Hey, I give good quotes, and you can print that on the front page. Anthony Hardaway, best player in basketball, guarantees championship. And the I do remember it, those actually. Yeah, the voice of it was Chris Rock. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. He, like Tyra Banks was in the commercials, but that's how Chris Rock like that was before he was like. So there's big. a couple commercials. Yeah, it was like a thing. I'll it's throw one thing. in. Are right, we doing the? Uh, can we? Uh, can can we peek yeah, in the warehouse? warehouse? Sure. Yeah, the whole All right, warehouse. we're in the warehouse. <laughs> we sure are in the warehouse. <laughs> we let's, sure are. Let's go into the warehouse. Wow. Maybe later we can Holy go to the Burger King. So here's some more the dragonflies. Oh yeah. Alright, I'm gonna find this Rocky stuff. Oh, what the hell, dude? <laughs> We're sad. Be sad. <laughs> it's a cool JYD. Whoa! What are what are these? It's a they're original LJNs that somebody made like custom packaging for. Oh, that's oh, cool. That's wow. cool. That is cool. That is really cool. Much more yeah. Oh, you need a sleeping bag? There's a Hogan one. There. Ah. That's Jerry not... Lynn! Oh, that is sick! Jerry! Man, and he's got his old um, Mr. JL bottoms. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's Sid, nice. what is up with Sid being such a, a big uh, softball guy? Oh, I actually need a Statlander. What is that? That's Stat? Yeah. It is Stat. Oh, they got TNA figures? Sanjay! Sanjay. Come on! <laughs> Hell yes. Look at this. Some cool stuff, man. Sanjay! Rocky is my all time obsession over Michael! Dude, that's look how many they have, Michael. Michael, that's Michael. Wild, wow. Includes glittering magic glove, microphone, and posing stand. Bing. Do you ever see that? There's that that thing uh, when they were like bringing Michael out on stage. Like Britney was bringing him out to. It was like an award show for his birthday. I think he's the. He thought he was receiving an award of artist of the millennium, but he wasn't. He was just. They were just honoring him on his birthday. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. 
very embarrassing moment for Michael as he accepts an award they weren't even giving out. I am thrilled to be here with you in New York on such a special night. And it's even more special because it just so happens to be someone special's birthday. I consider him the artist of the millennium. So happy birthday, my friend, the king of pop. If someone had told me that one day I would be getting, as a musician, um, the artist of the millennium award, I wouldn't have believed it. He comes out and he grabs an award and he's like, I just want to thank you so much, the artist of the millennium. And they were, and like, I'm sure nobody was like, don't tell him. <laughs> sure don't, tell just like, don't tell him. Don't tell him. We'll get another statue. <laughs> <laughs> like, who's going to tell Mike? Uh, we're not honoring so. the product. With all these Green Rangers. I'm My old sensei. Them. My old sensei. I went to his Red Dragon Karate Gym. Well, yeah, that's what Dan wanted to know before he added us to American Top Team. Well, he knew my resume. Yeah. He looked at my, my 10-year-old karate gi and stuff. Um, what was that? Goldar? Goldar. Yo. Rita Repulsa. Yes. Yeah, great right? character. Yeah, cool yeah, character. Great character. And uh, Lord Zed. Lord right? Zed. Love He's, Lord Zed. He's right here. Do you think they ever did it? What? Do you think they ever smashed? Yeah, they had to, right? Ooh! Look at this Harlem Heat. Cool two pass. That's dope, man. Harlem Heat was sick. And Sister Sherry. They're coming back. Are they really? You want to fight them? Yeah! Stevie Ray said he's coming back. No way. Yeah. Are they coming back? Yeah. We should really have a match with them. I would love to. Let's Booker T's one of my faves. Five time, bro. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Are they really coming back? Yeah, dude. I'm dude, serious. We have to wrestle them. Yeah, I'm serious. We go wrestle them at Reality of Wrestling. I will. Mid of the year versus Harlem Heat. I'll wrestle Harlem Heat. Uh, uh. Yeah. Mars Attack. Yeah, look at this. I'm wearing the shirt. We got the Mars Attack figure. Oh. What? You guys have the gun? Is this from the cage? Come on. The brain melter, this yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> I had this and I had, I think, Hogan. You only had two? Of these, yes. Of LJNs? These I only had the, yeah, I only had two. They, I never saw them anywhere. I think I inherited them. I don't even think I bought them. Inherited? Yeah, maybe like Who a- put them my, on your will? My brother or-, or like, I'll like, leave <laughs> all my money. I'm gonna leave. And <laughs> two LJNs <laughs> to Scorpio Sky. <laughs> I like how when I was a kid too, my name was Scorpio Sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super, super, super fly. All right, that's it. That's a wrap. And uh, listen, we got to see the shop. First yes. time I've ever been here. I've been in contact with the shop for probably over a year now. So I'll definitely be back. But I'm happy I finally got to check it out. Everything I've ever heard about Pandora's is true. They have it all. Literally, I've been hunting small soldiers on card. And they were like, oh yeah, we got that. It was like they've been asked that every week since the store opened. Scorpio Sky, though, purchased a lot. She sure. kept this promise. I didn't purchase a lot. I, I got, got three Rocky figures. That's three figures. I pity the fool. <laughs> Should have never came back. Anyways, um, yeah, I had a great time being in the box today. Mm. No, I'm just kidding. Wait. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pandora's box. This spot is uh, it's legit. They got like something for everybody if you're a comic fan if you're a wrestling fan if you love tv stuff they've got it all they even have video games yeah. and records and records man if you live in new jersey just come just come yeah okay what'd you buy you bought three i need to oh, know oh this, is, this has to be detailed okay i didn't know all right so i got this uh i got this cool clubber laying and that's gonna go on display in my office i have a I'll i have like a license. jacks um uh apollo creed that i'm gonna put it next to which i also got an apollo creed in the apollo creed gear that i wore at all in uh, a couple years ago so that's super cool mm. and then of course drago drago smash he must break you so that will also go and a quick story scorpio sky actually took me on a mandate once oh, to yeah. go see rocky four re-edited yeah rocky wow. versus drago that's that awesome. was fun that's hot that was fun yeah. thank you for the invite mandate very cool scorpio sky great guest by the way uh myself everybody knows what i collect and i pretty much hit every single topic i have a video coming out soon with batman forever if you haven't seen it go check out the batman and robin toy unboxing i do a retro style commercial from 1997 in that same delivery in vain and we actually review the figures and I actually opened carded figures. So go check that video out. But Batman Forever is coming soon. So I had to get Two-Face. This Penguin, just personal collection. This is not getting ripped open. Uh, my wife, big into Saga. This is actually the first ever action figure set I've ever purchased my wife. At least on the vlog for sure. Maybe in our lives. Either way, she'll be really hyped about this. And a fantastic price. 
This will be for the unboxing video as well. We're gonna do at least one vehicle or play set for every single set that we do in that series. Carded, small soldiers, very rare. Only got it here. This is now my fourth one, I believe. Look how sick this is. Uh, this will be hanging up in the man cave for sure. Love Batman the Animated Series, and I've never even seen this. Thanks for showing this to me. I appreciate it. Are you gonna get something else? <laughs> <laughs> it's a squirt head. You son of a it's a squirt head. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. Next Sunday, new toy hunt. Every single Sunday is brought to you by Whatnot. Please go download the app. Link is in the description. Because of them, I'm able to do these every single week so thank them get the app and get ten dollars on your first purchase of an auction on me i do it once a month you want to do anything say anything peace you're so cool man <laughs> all right scorpio thank you very much for coming with me on my toy hunt and also letting me use your phone to film this because mine is full <laughs> Uh, it, man. We didn't get to pick an item for you to give to the fans on what not to auction off. So, you came up with a genius idea. I've got an idea. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what if I did this? Ah! <laughs> Alright. I'm going to do it in blue. Love it. Sky blue. Actually, no. Let's do... um. Oh, yellow. Yeller. Yes. Old yeller. Oh, there we go. Bam. And this I present to you for one of your loyal, loyal, wonderful vlog fans. Thanks, dude. Yes, Like I done came with a crew Popping bottles by myself Seems stranger to you Than sci-fi My 